Hi everyone, in this video I want to cover basic operation and all the cool things you can do with your new T9 smart thermostat. On the thermostat display itself, the idle screen displays the local time, temperature reading, and local weather. Touch the weather button to see the forecast for your area. Touch the main temperature display to toggle between the idle and active screens. The active screen will allow you to adjust the set point, hold, and priority buttons. The main menu is accessible via the three bar icon at the bottom of the active main screen. From the active main screen, you have access to the priority button via the house icon at the top center of the thermostat. The icon has a number to the right of it indicating the number of rooms or sensors selected to average, or if active rooms priority is selected, the number indicates the number of sensors currently sensing motion. From the priority screen, you can switch between selected rooms priority or active rooms priority. Using selected rooms priority, select the thermostat and or sensors you wish to average or prioritize and they will be outlined in green. The thermostat display will automatically adjust to the average of the selected sensors and thermostat. Touch the active rooms button to switch to motion sensing priority. Motion sensing priority assigns priority based on the sensors that are actively sensing motion. This allows your comfort set point to follow you around your home automatically. If you are using active room priority and no motion is sensed by any sensors, the priority is defaulted to the thermostat until motion is detected. The thermostat itself does not sense motion. As you move within your home, you may observe some rooms that no longer have occupants being labeled as prioritized. This is normal and the priority or occupancy sensing should switch those rooms to inactive after a few minutes. From the thermostat active main screen, select the three bar icon at the bottom to open the thermostat menu. We'll run through each option starting at the top. Use the mode feature to change your thermostat's heating and cooling mode, as well as being able to set the thermostat to off or auto if the feature is enabled. I like mine on auto at 69 heating and 72 cooling when I'm home. So if the house drops below 69, the heat turns on and warms me back up. If the temperature rises above 72, the cooling comes on and cools me back down. When using auto changeover, you will choose both a heating and cooling set point. Use the fan mode feature to set your fan to on, which will run continuously, to circulate, which will run the fan at intervals, which is approximately 30% of each hour in order to keep air moving in your home, or to auto, which will run the fan only when you are heating or cooling your home. The circulate feature is great for those with air quality concerns as it moves the air through your furnace filter more often to capture particles. It can also help reduce hot or cold spots by circulating the warm or cold air into other areas of your home. This provides a more consistent temperature throughout. The priority feature allows you to toggle between selected rooms or active rooms. When using selected rooms priority, you can select the thermostat and sensors you wish to average or prioritize. This can help provide more comfortable temperatures in areas that may be hotter or colder than the rest of the home. Using the active rooms priority, you can use your sensor's motion sensing capability to prioritize your location in your home. The schedule feature allows you to set a time schedule each day with up to six different schedule periods. You can schedule group days or schedule each day individually. To modify the schedule, select the time you wish to modify, then select the time you wish that period to begin. Select the priority you would like to use, either selected rooms, then select the thermostat and or sensors you wish to prioritize, or active rooms to use motion sensing priority for that scheduled period. Select the temperature, heating, and cooling set points you desire for that scheduled period, then select the fan mode you would like to use for that period. You can also disable any number of periods that you choose based on your lifestyle. Modify each time for each day that you wish. 
The weather feature displays the local forecast based off your zip code associated with your Honeywell Home app. Weather is provided by AccuWeather. The Devices and Sensors submenu has some great features. It will list your thermostat and any sensors it is paired with, displaying them by name and showing their individual temperature and humidity readings. Touch each device name to view the device info. This will display the thermostat information for the thermostat itself. For sensors, the battery life, signal strength, and details are available, as well as an option submenu, which can be used to rename the sensor, turn motion settings on or off, adjust the sensitivity of the motion sensor, blink the lights on the sensor to help you locate it, or delete the sensor and remove it from the thermostat. Paired a sensor and didn't place it in the room? Had a child or guest move a sensor and now you don't know where it goes? Use the identify button to identify any wayward sensors and get them back to where they belong. From this submenu, you can also add any additional sensors or upcoming compatible devices you purchase, increasing your control of the whole home. Back to the main menu and on with the features. The thermostat information option displays the thermostat MAC ID, IP address, date code, model number, and operating system information. The equipment status option displays the systems the thermostat is controlling and provides their status. The Wi-Fi option displays the current Wi-Fi connection status, network, IP address, and MAC ID of the thermostat. Use the Change Network button to disconnect from the current Wi-Fi network and select another. You can also toggle the Wi-Fi feature on or off if you choose to operate the thermostat without Wi-Fi. If you operate without Wi-Fi, you will lose app control and outdoor weather. The Connect App option can be used if you opt to register your thermostat after the initial setup or if you ever need to re-register. The thermostat must be connected to a Wi-Fi network to use this option. The security feature allows you to partially or fully lock your thermostat screen. This feature locks the thermostat screen only and modifications can still be performed via the Honeywell Home app. Use the Change Lock Mode button to select the lock mode desired. Partial lock locks the menu options, but still allows users to change the mode and set point. Full lock prohibits any change to the thermostat. Once the desired lock mode is selected, press the Create Password button to generate the passcode and enable the lock mode you selected. The passcode on your thermostat is not adjustable. If you lock your thermostat and forget your passcode, contact Honeywell Residio Customer Care for assistance. Preferences submenu gives you access to modify even more features. Display allows you to change the temperature display from Fahrenheit to Celsius or vice versa, modify the language, set the inactive screen backlight brightness, set the inactive sleep backlight for those who want the thermostat even dimmer at bedtime, adjust the temperature display offsets, and a clean screen option that disables the screen for cleaning for 30 seconds. Date and time allows the modification of the date and time settings. Reminders allow you to set or modify filter and pad reminders for your equipment. These reminders will be displayed on the thermostat screen and in-app reminders are also available. And lastly, adaptive recovery. Adaptive recovery allows your thermostat to learn how long your home takes to reach a certain set point. Using this data, it can turn on your heating or cooling earlier than your schedule periods to make sure you are at the desired temperature at the start of the scheduled period. Without this feature enabled, the thermostat will strictly follow the schedule. For instance, with adaptive recovery on, my system learned it takes 45 minutes to reach 70 degrees if it's currently 65 inside. My schedule wake time is 7 a.m. and 70 degrees. Knowing this, my thermostat starts warming my home at 6.15 a.m. so that I'm 70 degrees at 7 a.m. 
With adaptive recovery off, my home would stay 65 degrees until 7 a.m. and then start heating me up to 70 degrees, but not be 70 degrees until 7.45 a.m. In the advanced setup submenu, you can reconfigure your thermostat or perform a variety of resets. The reset types include schedules, which will reset your current schedule to defaults, sensors, which will delete all of your sensors, and factory, which clears all settings and configuration and returns to the welcome screen. Modifying your configuration can cause your system to run ineffectively. Be sure you understand your system type before continuing through this menu. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. For more support and documentation, please visit HoneywellHome.com.